Ben here, and welcome to an election prediction slash, I don't know what you'd call it, for 2024. And we've got this map here, which is, you know, our standard swing state map, except with Texas added in. Because uh, currently in 2020, I'm not, I won't really count it as a swing state, um, but by 2024, it more than likely will be considered at least somewhat competitive. I'm skeptical the Democrats are going to be able to compete, uh, be able to win the state in 2024. 2028 is a cert, is, you know, they're going to be very competitive in Texas. I, I am firmly in that belief. 2024, I think, is a, you know, one cycle too soon. But, anyway, so, I'm just going to go through, I don't know, Nevada, for, and, again, for any election that I cover after 2020, I am assuming Donald Trump is going to be reelected, um, because it's the easiest thing for me to do, um, not because I'm biased towards him, it's easier for me to assume a two-term presidency than it is for me to assume the Democrats find a way to play perfectly play the balancing act between centrist and progressive that they will actually need to, you know, be able to do in order to win the election as well in 2020 as well as avoid someone who is either gaff prone, scandal prone, or just as dislikable as Clinton was to the general po populace. And I'm not sure the Democrats can do that. Because if they get someone who is very likable to the general populace, like, say, Bernie Sanders, he's going to be too far to the left to appeal to the centrist voters, even if they like him as a person. And, yeah, okay, likability does play some factor in, but if you firmly believe somebody's wrong, no matter how good of a person you think they are, you're not going to support them other than say, well, you know, I'll be nice to you. You know, I respect Bernie Sanders. I think he is a very good person and an honorable politician, and he does have the best interests of America in, in mind. However, he, and again, he represents his constituency, the state of Vermont, very well. So I would say I approve of Sanders, even if I would never, ever, ever vote for him. I mean, obviously, if you said, would you vote for Sanders or Hitler, I'd say Sanders. But the point is that even though I approve of what Sanders is doing, because he is representing his constituency, that doesn't mean I'm going to vote for him. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of Americans are like that. Anyway. So, Nevada, I'm going to, Nevada and Colorado, I'm going to mark off is, I'm going to, I'm going to put Nevada in the likely Dem column, and I'm going to say Colorado is going to be too far gone for Republicans to compete, especially after a two, after a two-term Republican presidency. I'll come back to Arizona later, but I'm going to put Texas in the likely Republican column. Hmm. I'll come back to Texas. This is definitely going to be probably a lean or a likely. I'm not sure which, so I'm going to put it as lean only. That's the second congressional district in Nebraska. Iowa and Ohio, I'm going to lean to the GOP. This entire region, ignore, except for Illinois, is moving towards the Republicans. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say Virginia is going to be too far gone for the Republicans as well. And I think the last vote I can take away from the Republicans will be New Hampshire. Uh, that's going to be a lean. No, it's a very swingy state. I'll put it as likely. But it's still a swing state. In and it's not shifting any direction. I do think this congressional district is going to stick with the Republicans. Not sure how much, but I'm just going to point it put it as safe. And because we're coming off of a two-term Republican presidency, I'm going to lean main towards the Democrats. Now I need to start taking states away from the Democrats. Wisconsin is going to be one of those. 
again, this entire region is moving towards the Republicans. I think Wisconsin is the Democrats' version of Virginia. A state that used to vote for him by extremely wide margins that just kind of went the other direction. Uh, Pennsylvania, I'm going to say they, after a two-term Republican presidency, they'll be able to pick it up. I think Michigan is possible. And Minnesota, if Michigan is de blue, Minnesota definitely is. Georgia, I'm going to only lean towards the Republicans for 2024. And then we've got these four states where the election is going to be decided. The Republicans need all, all four. I'm, I'm not going to you know beat around the bush here. The Republicans need all four. And in 2024, I don't think they'll get it. They'll get Texas, for sure. I'm going to put it as likely. North Carolina is weird. It's a turnout state. And that actually means I'm going to lean it towards the Democrats. Because after... An eight-year Republican presidency, the Democrat base is going to be a lot more energized. That's why I'm not giving Michigan and Pennsylvania to the Republicans. You know, that's a 36-vote swing right there. It is because the Democrats are going to have an energized base, even though I don't think they're going to pick it up in 2020. Uh, at least don't think they're going to pick up the pre the states of Pens state of Pennsylvania in 2020. Michigan, they will, but after 2020, I'm not sure they're going to be able to hold these states because it's just very tenuous, whatever grip they have left over them. Florida t tends to vote against the incumbent party when there is no incumbent in the White House, So, uh, but it votes for the incumbent in office if it's the president, you know, they'll vote for the president for re-election but they'll flip to the other party. So I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Florida to the Democrats. And Arizona is a weird state. I'm not really sure how to classify it. I think to cover my bases and be on the safe side in 2024, I will give it to the Democrats. But yeah, I'm a little skeptical of that. And of course, any pink state Anything in the, light, in the light colors can, of course, flip the other direction. But it's more likely in 2024 the light red would become blue rather than the light blue become red. So this is my baseline for what I'd be looking at in 2024, but that's a long ways off. It's six years off. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.